Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Melissa. I am a 27-year-old stay-at-home mom to an almost two-year-old boy, and I am expecting our second child um, early May, so <laughs> really very soon. Today I'm doing a clean and decorate for Easter with me, and if you stick around to the end of the video, I've got three really yummy recipes that I'm going to share with you guys today. So let's get going. First of all, I'm just showing you guys my mess. This is my real life house. This is the condition that our house was in. Um, we only have five weeks left until Harry's arriving, not 13. Um, all the toys all over the place, food stuff, just random crap everywhere. I don't know if you guys feel like this, but ever since this quarantine has started, everything just piles up and I feel like I just cannot catch up ever. So got dishes, we've got junk, we've got groceries to put away, I uh, had candles out that I was organizing. It's just a crazy mess. So here we go. When you were leaving, I need you even more than I did before. You had the last word when you walked out the door. You me crazy. So here I am starting in the living room by cleaning up the toys, I swear. I do this like 50 times a day, I don't even know. <laughs> uh, I feel like I am just constantly, constantly, constantly cleaning up toys. Does anyone else feel like that? Also, my son eats um, breakfast, lunch, and sometimes dinner at this little table, plus he plays with Play-Doh and colors and all sorts of stuff, so I'm also constantly wiping down the table. Um, I don't know. Does anybody else feel like that? It's just that just a mom thing. I'm just gonna be doing that for the rest of my life, right? Also, I just want to clarify, I do not normally wear a dress to clean. <laughs> I am wearing a dress this day because I didn't want to put pants on in the morning. So I just wanted to clarify that. Also, you will see many, many outfit changes in this video because, aha, uh -huh, there's one. First of all, I got sick of wearing a dress, so I put on pants. Um, but also because this was filmed over like a week of doing all the spring cleaning and decorating and stuff. So I went ahead and put all of the cleaning um, videos together at the beginning and then went into decorating. So you'll see the outfits kind of go back and forth. You may have seen me in something before or see me in it again. I just thought it would be easier to watch all the cleaning first and then all the decorating afterwards instead of kind of mishmashing everything together. So. So right now I am just cleaning up all of this stuff that has piled up on either end table and as you saw I took all the St. Patrick's Day pillow covers and blankets down and I'm going to start putting on the new spring and Easter ones here and I don't know if you can see but my kiddo is picking up some toys right here. Um, he is always expected to help clean up his own mess and I think it's really important to start that early. Not that we make him do it all himself, obviously. You've seen me clean up his toys before. Um, but I think it's really important to teach him from a very early age that he's responsible for cleaning up his own mess. So one way we do that is just say, hey, can you clean up your cars? Um, and then we'll put out the car back and say, okay, put all the cars away. We're not playing with them right now. Let's put them all away. And he'll do that. And he understands that it's the expectation for him to help clean up, and he doesn't complain about it. So, if you have any tips or tricks for other moms who might be struggling teaching their kids how to pick up after themselves, leave them below. Um, also, as you can see, he just threw the books all over the floor that I had stacked up, so then I told him to take them to his room and put them away where they belong, and he's doing so. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head from Also I just wanted to mention that you're probably gonna see my husband a lot in this video as well. You can probably see him in the background there doing dishes. 
Um, I think it's really important for both people in the household to work on the household together because we both live here. Um, and I know a lot of times in my videos you mostly see me, but that's because I'm at home all day long and he's working. So when he is home, he helps out a lot, which I really appreciate. And I think it's just really important. Um, so now we've moved on into the kitchen and I am cleaning off this island. This island has been on my list of things to clean for weeks now. If you follow me on Instagram, if you've seen my to-do list, I, I keep saying, clean off the island, clean off the island, clean off the island. I keep putting it off and it was time. So, um, we've got papers, oh man, all sorts of stuff. It just becomes like the throw-all place, like when we don't know where to put something, we just throw it there. Um, as you can see, I had a ton of candles sitting here. I was going through and trying to organize them and decide what I was going to keep and what I was going to get rid of, and then I just decided to just go ahead and keep them because I spent money on them at one point. Oh, somebody woke up from their nap. <laughs> um, and so then they just sat there and they never got put away. So um, they need to be put away, obviously. Uh, the amount of just like trash that got thrown on here. I don't even know why. I don't know how. Does anybody else feel like that? You just like find trash places. Like why is it here? How did it get here? Why isn't it just in the trash can? I don't know. Drives me insane. said I I will stand by you forever and I won't waste it okay and I know that you're probably thinking it but why do I have so many candles and why do I need so many let me just tell you something this is not nearly half of them these are all just the small and mini candles um, I worked at Bath and Body Works for six years I was a manager for three four I can't remember it's been a long time um, and so as you can see the majority of my paycheck went to product and I feel like most people who work at Bath and Body Works feel the same way you get that discount you get to see all the new stuff coming out you just constantly buy stuff this was before I was married um, I was in college and I could do that um, and I rarely buy things from Bath and Body Works anymore at this point just because I have so 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 much um, that I don't really need to um, it's nice to see all the new stuff and to smell it, but it's unnecessary for me to buy it when I have uh, so much in stock, unless I'm actually out of it, which wallflower bulbs are the one thing that I have continuously bought even after I stopped working there because those are things that I go through so quickly. And look, we're at the next day. Colby is making bacon for breakfast. <laughs> I think there were cinnamon rolls in the oven um, and as you can see stuff already got piled on the island that I had just cleaned off guys I can't even I'm it annoys me so much but I'm going through all of the random stuff that is on the table there's a mail here there's my desktop was here because I had to set up one of our security cameras and wasn't able to do it through the phone um, and my laptop for some reason has been updated too recently for it to work I don't know it's the whole thing um, a bunch of my husband's tools were on the table and like the basket that was holding like the tools and random like I don't know nails and screws and things um, had broken so he was in charge of fixing that because I was not dealing with it <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you can see the massive amount of uh, ultrasound pictures on the fridge. That's not even half of them. 
How many ultrasounds do normal people get um, through their, out their entire pregnancy? Because I had one every four weeks from the beginning until I hit, I think, 24 weeks. And then I was off for a few weeks, and now I'm on an ultrasound every single week. So I get a lot of ultrasound <laughs> pictures, and I don't know, like, do I keep them all? I mean, I had a lot from... Toby too because same kind of situation um, happened so I'm just wondering does everybody else get a ton of pictures or do does everyone else only get like one or two ultrasounds am I like what's going on I don't know what to do with them do I keep them what do I do tell me um, so I'm cleaning off the table getting rid of the rest of the crap there was icing bags from a few weeks ago that I had to just get rid of and get the clips off of because I wasn't going to reuse the icing at this point. So I'm just cleaning off the table. I can see the recycling over there in the corner and it's bothering me because I lost the footage of us taking out trash and recycling, which I mean is not very um, entertaining, but you know, at least you could have seen that we're not lazy and we actually took out the recycling of the trash. Um, okay, obviously next day I am cleaning the windows. A funny story, we have an alarm system and I forgot to unset it and so <laughs> when I first opened the windows it went off and Colby had to run over and unset it and there were some teenagers outside who were skateboarding way closer than six feet away from each other and so I was already annoyed that they were out there being close to each other and then my alarm system went off and they scattered so fast it was hilarious I was like yeah teenagers get out of here oh my gosh I'm so old does anyone else feel like that when they see teenagers like get out of here you young kids <laughs> Anyway, um, so now I am cleaning the little tracks of the windows with a cleaning toothbrush. This toothbrush specifically gets put in a different place so that it doesn't accidentally get used as a real toothbrush and I just wash it out after I use it, but it makes a world of dif difference when cleaning out those tracks. Um, the glass cleaner I'm using is the Method glass cleaner. I just have a glass bottle and I get one of those big reusable or refillable jugs of the Method glass cleaner and just refill it. Um, and then when I was cleaning out the tracks, I was just using the Mrs. Myers in the Peony scent, which is my favorite spring scent. I love that one. Um, also just realizing that that calendar still says March and it's definitely April and um, yeah so I noticed that my little um, threshold into the house there looked really dirty and I tried to clean it but it must just be stained like from the other people who have lived here before or I don't know maybe it's like rust or something I'm not sure so if you guys know how to clean that better let me know because just using regular all-purpose cleaner did not clean it off and that bothers me so this is the same day I just put my hair up in a bun because I was sick of it on my neck. So if I look kind of weird, I know my buns are weird. Um, so at this point, um, Toby is napping. And so we are trying to just pick up what has accumulated over the last couple of days that we have already cleaned up and um, get, you know, cords all put away. And oh man, guys, I just, I can't, I can't believe how much happens and just gets thrown within just a couple of days. Colby's cleaning off, um, <laughs> spraying into the air. I don't know what that was, but he's cleaning off Toby's little chair or table thing that he eats at, and I'm just going ahead and fluffing pillows and finding Reese's egg trash, thanks to my husband. Yeah, he's the one who eats those, not me. Not that I don't like Reese's eggs. I mean, Reese's eggs are good, but they're his, so. <laughs> Oh man. Um, and then we are going to, oh, I sprayed all of the furniture and the rug with some Febreze fabric refresher just to, you know, freshen things up. And here is the thing, guys. Spring cleaning, we only do this, the moving of the couches like once every season. <clears throat> and we really should do it more. Oh my gosh. I could not believe the crumbs, the dust, the random trash, the toys, just, just wait. Um, it's 
insane to me how much crap gets under the couches. They're heavy though, so I can't move them. Yep, there you go. All the balls. Um, I can't move them myself, so I have to have Colby here to help me. And um, since he usually works just a ton, um, it only gets done once a season because I just can't physically do it myself. But this is just, just wait because it's, there's more. Oh my gosh, guys, my waddle. I didn't realize how bad my waddle is. I look like I'm in so much pain. I mean, I am in a lot of pain, but I don't remember waddling like that with Toby. Maybe because I don't have any footage of this angle of me waddling, but oh my gosh, that was funny. I looked like a little penguin. So this um, rug grip thing that's supposed to keep the rug in place never does. It is constantly moving. It drives me crazy. So does anybody have any tips how to keep like the rug from moving? I, we have it under the sofas, but for some reason they still move. I don't know. Um, also, now we're on to, I think this is, um, the night after that, after I had gotten ready for bed and everything, I went over and started to clean up. This is, like, our entryway table, and so, again, another place that things just get thrown all over the place. Um, it drives me crazy. So I just went ahead and started kind of cleaning up that area and just making it not look like such a trash pile. Ugh. So as I was going through here, I found this picture of Colby when he was a baby that his grandma sent us. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. So I'm just going through all the hats and I found these are Toby's gloves that he never ended up getting to wear because when we got them, it was like the last time it was snowy, we got them like right after the snow melted. So unfortunately he never got to use them, but they still fit him. So I put them in the bin ready to go and all of our hats are stacked now. And if you can hear my son, I am apologize, mom life, we've got to film this voiceover while he's awake so I'm just going ahead and pulling off all the numbers that I could possibly need left for Harry's sign and going to put them in a little basket so they're easier to get to so that I will actually keep up with the sign so that it is accurate not this far off So I just took this bag of shoes and I'm putting them on the shoe rack and Colby's grabbing all these bags and going through them and dealing with the junk that's inside. And then I'm tossing trash, I don't know why, or recycling. And then all of this Christmas stuff is going to go be put away where it belongs in the Christmas decor. This cart is my pumping cart, so I need it to be empty for when the pump gets here and arrives. Most of this stuff goes into our my car. So like the, the grocery bags we put away into the closet where they belong. Um, this is baby stuff that had to go into our room. And then 
Um, like the car seat base and the blanket are for the car as well. So I folded those nicely and stacked them by the door to go straight out to the car in the morning. Um, and then just swept because, oh my gosh, it's insane to me how much stuff can just like accumulate on the floor in an area that is just covered with stuff. Then I went over and started dusting the entertainment area, um, and I always dust from top to bottom. I'm sure everybody knows this, but in case you don't, dust from top to bottom so that when the dust falls down, it, it just keeps falling so you won't like dust the bottom stuff and then go up, and when you dust the next shelf up, the dust would fall back down on the bottom shelf so then you would have to redust. That would just stink. So don't do that. Dust from top down. Um, we had hung some stuff in the wall. I think I actually, we had these shelves hung and then we got a new TV and we had to drill into the wall again. So there was like drywall dust all over this and I thought I had gotten everything, but apparently I didn't. So I went through and dusted everything that were on the shelves and the shelves themselves. Um, and I thought that I filmed dusting all the bookshelves and taking the books off, but apparently I didn't because it's not on here, but I did that too. So here I am going ahead and just scrubbing this sink uh, with baking soda and dish soap. I needed a little bit more water in the sink. I don't think I added like had enough in the sink. Normally when I do it, the sink. Oh gosh. Normally the sink is more wet when I do this. It had been drying for a while because Colby had been done with the dishes for a while. So normally I need a little bit more water, but just dish soap and baking soda with like this um, bubble up brush from the Grove Collaborative um, is how I always clean my sink. Um, and then I wipe down the sides and then I spray it with some Lysol spray just to disinfect because sinks are disgusting. Um, and then I put in one of these little plink ball things to clean the disposal and it makes it smell so good. So we're done with the cleaning portion, now let's get on to the decorating. First I am taking down my St. Patrick's Day sign on my door and replacing it with this um, Hello Spring sign. I made this sign from a chalkboard sign that I got from Target that was really cheap and then I just wrote on it with a white paint marker and then I had this sprig of florals that I found in my closet, just added it to the top. And uh, yeah. Oh, and then there's my stop sign. And then I am just setting up our table. As you can see, the stuff that I already cleaned up earlier in the clean with me portion of the video is still back there. So this happened before that happened. But these placemats I bought a couple of years ago from Target, I believe. Um, so I don't think I'll be able to link them. And then I am moving over to um the this is basically a dresser <laughs> this is my old dresser from our room that we fixed after it was moved out of the room and i am just taking down all of the um st patrick's day stuff out of the three-tiered tray and kind of rearranging stuff okay so does everyone else have to like decorate multiple times to figure out what you want to do like i feel like i put stuff together and then like later I move things around again and then I add more to it. Like I'm never satisfied the first time I do it. I can never make anything <laughs> the way I want it to look the very at the very beginning. Is anybody else like that? Do you have to redecorate multiple times? Yeah. So this gray and white gingham run runner that I'm putting on here is from Hobby Lobby. I think I got it in the spring line. I got it before 
um, St. Patrick's Day. It was around Valentine's Day, so I'm not sure if they'll still have it available. But you can definitely check online. Um, and if I can find it, I will definitely link it below. Other than that, um, the three-tiered tray is from Hobby Lobby, but I got that a long time ago. Um, all of these eggs and carrots and these little signs are from the Target um, Bullseyes Playground. I actually had my ship shopper who was there for me getting actual groceries. I had her just stop in Bullseyes Playground and she sent me a bunch of pictures of things. That's where that little um, basket with the green on the bottom is from as well. Um, so I, I had her stop and just grab stuff because she was already there for me and she was awesome about it and got me a lot of stuff that I needed. The happy spring sign is from Home Goods, which obviously they're closed right now. Um, and then what else? Um, the eggs and some of the other little signs were just from regular Target, so I got those using Drive Up. Um, but I will link everything that I possibly can um, in the description below. But unfortunately, anything that's in um, Bullseye's Playground, most likely I won't be able to link because they don't have it available online. Which I think Target should totally change that policy right now since no one's coming in store anyway. But we'll see what happens, right? And this is what I'm saying. That was like that for a day or two and then I decided that I needed more flowers, more floral stuff. So I found these flowers just in my closet. I think they are originally from Michael's, but I'm not positive. And um, I just added them to what I already had and I liked it so much better. I just feel like it's so much more spring and, and just fun and pretty. So I deep cleaned my Keurig because it's uh, that time of the year to do that. And then I put up this little spring sprig around my coffee area just to make it more, you know, floral and feminine. And then I went ahead and took down my other mugs and hung up my Spring Raid Done mugs. And then I'm just going to show you guys my couches because I don't think I've shown them to you all set up yet. So that's it for the spring decorations. Now it's time to cook with me. The first recipe I'm showing you guys is my bomb pretzel recipe. You will need a cookie sheet, aluminum foil, a stick of butter, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, some sort of whiskey, and these um, like hashtag pretzel snaps, and some brown sugar, and a little pot. Go ahead and preheat pre pre oh wow, your oven to 250 and put the whole stick of butter in your pot with three tablespoons of brown sugar and three tablespoons of whiskey. You're gonna need a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. If you don't like spicy, you might wanna um, make that a little bit smaller and then a teaspoon of garlic powder. I go ahead and cover my cookie sheet with foil for easier cleanup. You don't have to do this, but I suggest it. Um, I'm melting that mixture that I talked about um, on the burner and then I just open my package of pretzels, put them on the cookie tray. As soon as this is all melted and take, stirred together, go ahead and pour it over your pretzels, mix it in with the pretzels, and then put it in the oven. After 10 minutes in the oven, you want to take it out, stir them around, put them back in for another 10 minutes and then take them out and put them into a bowl. Don't eat them right out of the oven. They are hot. <laughs> the sugar will melt your face, but oh my gosh, they're so good. Sweet, spicy, savory, delicious. Next recipe is my Brussels sprout casserole. You don't have to use Brussels sprouts if you don't like Brussels sprouts, but you're gonna need four pieces of bacon, some sort of Brussels sprouts, green beans, cauliflower, um, broccoli, doesn't matter. You're gonna need stick of butter, 
some like three cups of cheese, doesn't matter what kind of cheese, chicken broth, milk, panko breadcrumbs, um, cayenne pepper again, garlic powder and onion powder. Or you can use real onions and garlic if you have them, I don't. So first thing I did was cut up my Brussels sprouts into like, you know, chunks. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then I took out my bacon and cut that into chunks. Also, by the way, all the recipes will be linked down below. Don't You don't have to try and follow along with me because I know it's kind of scattered. But the chunks of bacon, the little strips, I just cooked. Also, I was multitasking putting away dishes, so that's why there's dishes in my hand. You can add in then the onion and garlic into your bacon when it's almost done cooking. And then you're going to take that off the pan once the bacon is pretty crispy and put it onto a plate to just, you know, sit and hang out and chill. Next, you're going to put four tablespoons of butter into your pan and let it melt. And then you will add in the designated amount of flour. I can't remember off the top of my head how much it is. I feel like it's four tablespoons. Um, I think this is a half tablespoon measuring spoon I was using because the other one must have been dirty. I don't know. You got to whisk it, whisk it, whisk it until <laughs> it's all mixed together. It's going to kind of be clumpy. That's okay. Then you're going to add slowly add in your milk. I believe it's three cups of milk. Yeah, this is a two cup measuring cup. So I believe it's three cups of milk. You can also use two cups of um, milk and like one cup of cream, but I had whole milk and that was it. Uh, we normally don't drink whole milk. We just happen to have whole milk because the store was out of skim milk. So yeah, also I'm a huge mess. Anyone else a mess when you're cooking? I swear, it just gets, everything gets everywhere. So once all this is all good and whisked and there's no lumps, you're gonna add in salt, pepper, and cayenne pepper. Um, honestly, use more than you think you need. Like, I'm serious. I know that it seems like a lot of salt. When you see me put the amount of salt in here, you're gonna be like, wow, that's a lot of salt. It was not enough salt. <laughs> Let's just say, it was not enough salt. You can always use more. Um, well, not always. Don't go crazy, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Test it, taste it, you got it. <laughs> Mix all the spices into the sauce, and then you're going to add your cheese. Um, I believe I used like a cup and a half of cheese. This is the shredded cheese I had, was Mexican style. But you can use Colby Jack, you can use cheddar, doesn't matter, just use shredded because it melts easier. Mix it all together until it is all melty and gooey. Put your Brussels sprouts or whatever veggie you're using into a pan. Add in the bacon, onion, garlic mixture, and then you're going to pour the yummy cheese sauce over the top. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Also, if you like spicy, add more cayenne pepper. You're gonna put panko on top. And I believe that I had the oven preheated at 350. I'm not positive. Check the recipe down below. And I feel like it cooks for 20, 30 minutes. Um, this stuff is so, so good. It's really good on green beans, especially, but yeah. That's there an elephant? Okay, and then I'm making the Easter Bunny pudding. Guys, so easy, so delicious. Make a packet of chocolate pudding, like the directions say. Super easy, I think it's three cups of milk for this package, and it's like a big package. All you need is a pack of pudding, chocolate pudding mix. You need milk, obviously. Oreos, a thing of Peeps. If you're into Peeps, you don't have to. You could use like, you know, you could do something different if you don't like Peeps, but I like Peeps. And then um, a big thing of Cool Whip. So I went ahead and while the pudding was setting up, it only takes like five minutes to set up, I started crushing some Oreos. My food processor is pretty small, so I had to do this in batches, but you basically use a row and a half of Oreos. I like double stuff personally, but you don't have to. I'm going to take half of the pudding mixture that I made and put it in the bottom and spread it across the bottom of a, I think this is a nine by 13 can. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna spread it across the bottom and make it a nice even layer. 
I got a little bit um, anal about making it like that, so I cut off part of it. <laughs> then I'm gonna take half of the container of Cool Whip and add it to the last, the remaining half of pudding and mix it together. You don't wanna like over mix it because you want it to make it like moussey, like light and fluffy. You don't wanna like heat all the air out of it. Then you're gonna put that whole, everything, that mixture into the container and spread it across the top so you have a nice even layer. Try not to dig down into the pudding because you kind of want those layers. It's kind of like a lasagna, you know? Like you want to see the pretty like colorful ombre effect of the dark to the light, yeah? And then <laughs> I'm adding the last half of the Cool Whip to the top and going to spread it out like the other layers. But yeah, it works best if you don't use a spoon. I don't know why I was using a spoon because I'm weird, but use a spatula instead, it makes it easier, promise. Um, then I ended up using a spatula to spread it out because I got smart. So once that is all spread out over the top, you're going to add the Oreo cookie crumbles. Obviously I only had part of it. I had to make multiple batches. But yeah, I think like a sleeve and a half of Oreos worked out in my favor. You can always do more if you want, but this worked for me. Um, and if you're doing uh, like a smaller container where you're gonna have like thicker layers, you may not need as much, but Anyway, that's what works for me. Play with it. It's really not an exact science. You're not gonna mess it up if you put more or less Oreos. It's really up to you. I went ahead and just poured those on top and I spread them out and oh my gosh, I love Oreos. They're so good, guys. <laughs> like, for real. I don't know who invented them. Did you know that they're vegan too? Oh my gosh, so awesome. Okay, these are not vegan. These are peeps. Um, but you can just go ahead and pull apart the peeps and put them on top to make them look like they're, you know, just like sitting in the dirt, kind of like whack-a-mole style. I don't know, <laughs> but they're cute. So anyway, yeah, that's it for the Easter bunny pudding. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's delicious. Uh, uh, yeah, I just can't even. You have to try this recipe. Mommy's. <laughs> Thank you, baby. You haven't even tried it yet. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome so much. You're so sweet. Um, mm, wait, let mommy get you a napkin before you rub your hand off. Is it good? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and these three recipes. A snack recipe, a recipe you can use as an Easter side dish for yourself um, and kind of make it what you guys like as far as vegetables go and a really yummy Easter dessert. I hope that the cleaning and decorating motivated and inspired you guys and if you like videos like this please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!